I had just arrived in Malaysia coming from Chiang Mai, and my first thoughts were, wow, it is so much greener here than it was in Thailand. And what does my driver know about Nelly and all of these other 2000 throwbacks? Least to say, I didn't have many expectations, but I was excited to see what was in store for me in Kuala Lumpur. Hola, hola, people. What is up? Coming to you, looking exhausted from a travel day. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you guys my place. I just got here in Malaysia. I flew from Chiang Mai to Kuala Lumpur, and it took about, I guess, like two and a half, almost three hours. There's a time change, so that makes things kind of wonky, but... Um, yeah, the flight in wasn't too bad. It was short and sweet. Um, and when I first got into Malaysia, I noticed the first thing that I noticed was just how green everything is. It's just super lush greenery everywhere and then extremely tall sky rises everywhere. So the apartment that I'm in, I'm actually in here on the 16th floor. And I don't remember how many floors there are, but I want to say there's like almost 30 floors, if not more than that. So really really tall building um and i'll show you guys the rest of the building later because it's actually really neat they have everything located inside of here like the grocery store there's a cafe there's a gym there's a pool there's like everything is in this building and I, some of the stuff is open 24 hours like i don't even have to leave um so i'm really excited about that because i'm only here for five days so being able to just go downstairs and grab some groceries or grab some quick things and not have to have a whole adventure to go out and try to figure things out makes my life a little bit easier but i wanted to show you guys the apartment that i am going to be staying in for the next five nights all right so this is what it looks like when you walk in and to the right over here is the bathroom and the shower and then over here a little dining room area there's also a kitchen with a stove top, full refrigerator. And then this little living room area with the TV. The bed is on this side. And here is the best part for me. I mean, if you're on the 16th floor, you gotta have a balcony, right? <laughs> the view is pretty meh, but it's still really cool to have this open space out here so high up <laughs> i'm just noticing on this side there's a little desk which is perfect because i have work to do over here closet just plenty of space so yeah this is going to be my little humble abode for the next couple of days um and i have no idea what i'm going to be doing here <laughs> Like I said, I have a lot of work that I need to catch up on. Um, that was actually my plan for today, just kind of getting situated, getting some work done. Um, and then after that, I have no plans here in Kuala Lumpur. A lot of people that I've asked who have come to Malaysia tell me, like, you have to get outside of the city. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do that during my short stay here, but we will see. I'm definitely curious and want to explore as much of Malaysia as I can while I'm here. So stay tuned. Grocery store run. Everything I need for breakfast in the morning, fruit, eggs, and peanut butter. <laughs> All right, so I have been here working at this cafe since about 1 p.m. It's a cool cafe. The food that I had was pretty good. I mean, I just got like eggs and avocado on toast. So nothing too crazy, but it was pretty good. Um, but one thing I'm noticing out here in Kuala Lumpur is how early everything closes. Um, like I said, I got here about 1 and it is 4 p.m. Um, I looked because I noticed it was pretty empty in here. And I noticed on Google that they close at 5. So I was like, oh, okay, let me hurry up and order some food before you know they close. And so I called the waitress over and she tells me, oh, the kitchen's already closed. So they closed the kitchen prior to 4 and apparently this section that i'm in they're gonna close it in like eight minutes so i have to get up and move to a different spot if i want to stay in here <laughs> so this is a little bit of a culture shock because if you follow my vlogs you know that i'm used to just being in a cafe and sitting eating and working all day but that's not the case here so i'm gonna have to figure out where else i can go i'm almost done with what i was working on but i still have 
a long ways to go. Alright, I found a pizza place. That sounds good. That's like a 15 minute walk from here. So, that's where I'm headed. So my GPS ended up taking me through this market, which is fine. It's still 15 minutes, but I have to put on my me mug face so people will stop asking me to buy stuff. <laughs> okay, I made it out of the market. Now I'm just a little bit further. All right, I made it. So I'm back out on the streets. That was a fail. The pizza place did not have pizza today. <laughs> Apparently like their oven is out of order or something. I'm not fully sure. They said tomorrow they should have pizza, but um, yeah, now I gotta find somewhere else to go. <sighs> Keeping me on my toes, Kuala Lumpur. Keeping me on my toes. <laughs> okay, well that was short-lived. As soon as I got my food, I thought to myself, I should probably check what time they close. And sure enough, they closed at 6. Well, it says they closed at 6, and they made sure that I knew they closed at 5.45 today. So I cannot seem to catch a break trying to find a place to work out here. I think I'm just gonna stick to working in my apartment from now on and just ordering food because I haven't been able to get much done today. Just having to constantly hop around. And honestly, the food, it taste wise, it's fine, but I'm hungry, I'm still hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure something out. But yeah, this has been lessons learned today. It is Tuesday, April 16th, and after yesterday's epic fail over and over again, I decided I'm just going to stay in the apartment today and work, only to not have internet connection. <laughs> I am starting to think that this is not a good place for digital nomads. Obviously, this is not a city problem. It's a reflection of... <laughs> the people that manage these apartments but I'm just so annoyed it's just one consistent thing after another and even though this apartment comes with 24 7 um, support because I have a whatsapp number that I can contact people from it's been like 30 minutes that I've been sitting here trying to get internet and still no one has come to fix it the network has just completely disappeared and I have no way to connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm just uber annoyed and I was already feeling not so much homesick, but definitely like missing home because I wasn't home for Christmas this year and it's been a while since I've seen my family. So I've been ready to go home probably like for the last month or so, but this is making me really want to get out of here even more. Like I just want to have a day where things are not difficult. I mean, it's, it's not just working it's not just co-working like I have a kitchen and usually with airbnbs and places that I stay if you have a kitchen you have basic essentials like paper towels salt and pepper oil to cook stuff to cook stuff with uh this hasn't done that <laughs> and so when I inquired about it I was like hey can I get some salt and pepper they were like oh that's not included <laughs> like what why wouldn't you include salt and pepper with the kitchen? That's like pots and pans or like silverware. So it's just little things like that. It's starting to pile up for me and it's really getting annoying. I'm really hoping that someone gets here soon to fix this internet so that I can be productive today. 
Um, but yeah, counting down the days until I leave. Like I said, it's Tuesday. I fly out Thursday night. I have a red-eye flight out. And we are counting down. <laughs> so update. I decided to just fix the internet myself because the man never showed up. Um, so I just unplugged. I found the router. That was part of the problem. I found the router and unplugged it and got it working. So I have internet now. But I just got a message from the host that said... <laughs> The internet has actually been down in the city, so it was the city's fault. <laughs> I guess when I unplugged it and plugged it back in, it just so happened to be when it had kicked back in. But it was the city. It was the city to blame. It wasn't even the building or the management. Like, it's time for me to go home. <laughs> All right, so haven't left the house today, but I ordered some Malaysian vegan food, which looks pretty good. I don't fully know what it is, <laughs> but it's called uh, Nasi Kandar. And this I'm assuming is like the sauce to go on top of here. This has like rice and vegetables. Um, it's like potatoes. Yeah, again, I don't fully know, but it looked good. It had good reviews. It's got a bunch of different sauces. And then these are mushroom, um, satay mushrooms. So also looks really good. And then this is uh, like a little crunchy pita i forgot what this is called so yeah i'm really excited because i kind of struggled yesterday with finding good vegetarian food i don't know if maybe yesterday was a holiday or something like that like i said a lot of places were closing early um but even on grab when i tried to order like food delivery it, i didn't have a lot of vegetarian options so i was really happy to find this i saw there also were a lot more stores open today so maybe i just maybe i was just here on a holiday who knows um, but yeah, really excited to dig in to this. It looks really good and it smells amazing. Okay, wow. Wow, this is good. This is so good. So I figured out this sauce. It's actually a peanut sauce. So it's for the satay um, sticks. When I tell you this looked like me, <laughs> I had, I bit into it. And I had to do a double take because it also feels like me, but it's mushroom. It is mushroom. I don't know what they've coated it in. This tastes amazing. It's got a little spice to it, but not too much. And the sauce is really good. Mm. Wow. If I didn't know better, I was like, is this chicken? Like, what? But no, it's mushroom. And it's amazingly delicious. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to be ordering from this place again. Mm -hmm. Okay, now trying the Nasi Kandar. I just put some of the sauces on it and scooped a little bit into a bowl because it's a lot. Um, so let's see. That was a pineapple and some rice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. It's good. It's just like a mix of different vegetables. There's some okra in here. Cucumber. I'm not sure what this purple thing is. Maybe eggplant. And it's got mushrooms similar to this one. Mm-hmm. That's eggplant. Tomato. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm sure if I ate it in the restaurant, it probably would have been a different experience. Because everything is kind of like separated. <laughs> but overall, it's good. It has really good flavors. The sauce isn't spicy, but it's got like what is this guy it's got kind of like the sauce has different spices to it but it's not like crazy hot like in thailand i couldn't do the spice in thailand <laughs> we have my whole face on fire but um yeah this is really good definitely keeping this um uh, this place saved and maybe i'll even go eat in the restaurant so that i can get the full experience but 10 out of 10 for me this is bomb <laughs> good morning <laughs> i still have so much attitude good morning y'all it is so dark. Now, mind you, I do have the blinds closed. But I think it is rainy season here. Every morning, it's actually, it's actually raining today. But every morning, it has looked this dark and dreary. And then it doesn't help that, like, my view is just people across the street. <laughs> uh. So usually my blinds, or my blinds, usually my curtains are closed. And it look, and it, because of that, it's so dark in here. 
But also, I don't want people seeing me sleeping or waking up. <laughs> I say all this to say, I woke up late. I overslept and I missed a meeting and I'm like so perturbed about it because that's not something I do. Part of it is my fault. I went to bed late and so the alarm that I set was the wrong alarm and it did not go off this morning. Ironically though, I woke up an hour before my alarm should have gone off and I was like, oh, okay, I can go back to sleep for an hour. And then I rolled over and I went to sleep and I slept for three hours instead of one. <laughs> and like... Anyone who knows me, like, I don't do that. I'm actually, like, a morning person. But when I don't have sunlight, I've noticed, like, I'm not a morning person. I will just, I will sleep. I will just sleep. It was happening in Bali. Like, I was talking about how my schedule was so thrown off. Because I didn't have proper, I didn't have any sunlight in that first place that I stayed. And in here, like, the sun is scarce because of the positioning of the buildings. And then... Like I said, I think I found out, I think one of my friends mentioned that it's actually rainy season that I'm here. So, <sighs> yeah, a little bummed about that today. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with my day today, but I'm going to get out of the house. I'm hoping to find some kind of sun and I'm really trying to make the most out of my time here. But I already know, like, I'm, I'm really ready to go. <laughs> I'm really ready to go and to be fair I didn't give Malaysia a fair chance because I was I'm coming here because I'm passing through to go home to the US I'm going to see family and I'm excited about that and I'm only coming through here because the flights were cheapest out of everywhere I saw in Asia to get back home they were cheapest out of Malaysia so I came here with the mindset of like yay I'll be here I'll stop by and I'm going home you know so <laughs> Just being here for five days, it was gonna be three days. Um, and maybe I should have stuck with the three days because of me being ready to go. But yeah, basically to say, I, I know I came here with the mindset of like, I'm just here to get in and go out. And that's kind of like reflecting on my time here. Something that I, I struggle with as a nomad is being able to like fully appreciate the places that I'm in when I'm in that place. Because um, a lot of times I'm thinking about where I'm going next or uh, sometimes I'm just tired and worn out from all the places that I've been that I can't fully like take it in. So that's my goal for today and tomorrow to really embrace the place that I'm in. A lot of people have commented on my stories about how much they love Malaysia and they love KL and yeah, so I'm thinking it's, it's me. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to spread some good energy and hope that it comes back to me today. <laughs> Whew. Let's let's pray it's only up for here. <laughs> I am refreshed from the gym. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the other amenities and stores that they have in the building. Vamanos. So everyone has to use a key like this and scan themselves in and out. This is the lobby, they have a little restaurant cafe over here, and this is a 24 hour convenience store. There's also a little coffee shop with pastries and things. Um, over there is a grocery store. Um, it doesn't have everything, but it does have a lot of things that you would need. So it's very convenient, and it opens until about 12 a.m. or so. It's got fruit, different things, and then it also has like snacks and some things to cook with. There's also a place to exchange your money. It's just super convenient as well. And then on the second floor there's co-working spaces and offices. And just what I needed an ATM to get some cash out. We also have a hair salon. Cool. Yeah. And on the 10th floor, um, there are about 33 floors in the <laughs> There's definitely a much, much nicer view from the gym than my apartment. <laughs>